Hello everyone and welcome to another Throne and Liberty video. My name is Brian if you're new around here and today we're diving into some closed beta details about the upcoming NDA test. Now I am maybe going to be in it. I haven't got confirmation yet but we will see if that plays out. Obviously if I get into the uh, the closed beta I can't talk about it but we can share what they've shared with us publicly here in this video. So if you guys like Throwing Liberty content, you're new around here, uh, welcome in. Thanks so much for giving me an opportunity and hopefully you guys enjoy the video. But let's go ahead and dive in. Let's not waste any time because there's a lot that we need to talk about. So this is, uh, they're kicking it off with, with the closed beta test arriving next week and invitations beginning to be distributed, we wanted to share some additional details about what participants can expect. For players that missed the announcement, the brief overview can be found below. For players who signed up and have been selected, learn about the focus of the closed beta and discover the key test details for the closed beta details section. Now, we're working closely with NCSoft to take valuable feedback from the playtest to ensure Throne of Liberty is a great experience at launch and we are excited to hear from players about their experience. And this is where I want to chime in. Like, if this is like, when we start to kind of stack Throne of Liberty and Blue Protocol in the same kind of conversation, I was really feeling Blue Protocol would be coming out in June to kind of celebrate its one year release in Japan. But Throne of Liberty seems to be making more moves and it just seems weird to, to pair these games close together. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know in the comments, but we'll go ahead and continue on because I think in and of itself, it's going to be one of the most interesting stories that we've seen in a long time. The closed beta test will span on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X starting on April 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're in Texas, uh, that's going to be, I guess, at 3 p.m. Pacific time running until April 17th. Closed beta will feature servers in North America, NA West, and in the East, Europe, Asia Pacific, South America, and so, uh, selected players will receive their invitation via email beginning on April 2nd. Now, what's interesting about this, and I would bring up this question to you guys, Asia Pacific, I'm wondering if that's a new region? Somebody, if you guys can confirm that in the comments, this has been one of the questions a lot of people have had, and Amazon is the one who is publishing this game in Japan. So Asia Pacific sounds you know, like a possibility that people have been wanting uh, and we'd love to see it for New World as well. I'm not going to, not going to lie. Anyway, select players can receive their invitation via email beginning on April 2nd and will be provided with a code via email on April the 4th with further instructions on how to participate. This is a confidential play test so please keep your mouth shut. <laughs> player progression and leveling experience. The closed beta includes important adjustments to player progression, and we're excited for the hear the feedback of players on the adjustments. For the first few days of the test, players will be able to explore Solistrum and experience these adjustments with the level cap from the technical test. And it uh, has been removed for players to progress freely into different parts of the game. Towards the end of the test, we will help or we will provide players by allowing them to experience all forms of content. And this will allow players to explore the early mid game and also begin participating in end game content throughout their journey in the closed beta. For the economy, the in game auction house will store uh, and store will also be enabled for the test, allowing players to list and purchase listed items interact with the economy and test certain store items. All players will be granted uh, with Lucian, a premium in-game currency, with the initial deposit of periodic refreshes to try out these systems and provide feedback. All Lucent and in-game purchases will expire at the end of the test. For combat and events, the, co the closed beta will feature improvements to combat. Throughout the closed beta, we are planned a calendar event to run alongside players with their experience of different types of combat and activities. Prime time events will occur at the time listed below in each region's local server time. And you see the schedule here, April 10th, the opening of the test, April 11th, field boss Morikai from 1900 to 7 uh, PM. So well, I can't, maybe that's saying starting at seven and 1900. I'm, I'm not good at military time, but I'm going to guess that it is military time <laughs> uh, as I move forward. King Excavator 9 is going to be April 12th. The Arch Boss Tevent on April 13th. Castle Siege 1 on the 14th. Tax Delivery on the 15th. Castle Siege 2 on the 16th. And the Closing Ceremony one hour before server shutdown. And then we see some amazing uh, in, you know, in-game screenshots throughout the post. Finally, the player feedback, uh, players who were selected in closed beta, you'll be invited to a closed and confidential Discord server to provide feedback for your experience in Solistrum. 
uh, we hope that you enjoy it and participate in said feedback. So guys, obviously if you're in the, uh, if the test, don't, don't sound off. Don't let me know. Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep that secret. Uh, but ultimately if we, uh, do get the opportunity to play, um, yeah, let me know. We can, we can probably team up if that's at all possible. And that might be a lot of fun. And if there's a secret discord server, I don't know, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you got something good out of this video. If you feel like it earns it, hit that like button. You can always double tap dislike button uh, as well. I think that gets it unstuck from time to time. But outside of that, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you have a lovely day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care.